a new technology that technicians are starting to see with their scan tools is the scan tool companies have figured out if you're plugged into the data communication link, what's on pin one and pin 16? Power and ground, okay? For many years, remember when we utilized those big engine analyzers and we would take the amp probe and connect towards the positive or away from the negative, then we'd sync to number one cylinder and we would crank the engine and this big engine analyzer, the Sun Machine, the Mastermind, it would do a relative compression test. It was looking at the amperage draw per cylinder. If the piston's coming up compressing air because we have a good seal between the rings, the valves, the intake valve and exhaust valve, the amperage is going to go up as we try to squeeze that air. If we have blow bypass the rings or a leaky valve or the valve didn't open up, then we're going to have a loss of compression. The piston's going to rise farther and the amperage is going to drop. Well, we should have known there's a law of electricity that can be applied here. You cannot have current flow without voltage drop. You cannot have voltage drop without current flow. So instead of looking at the amperage draw, because you don't hook up an amp probe with your scan tool, instead of looking at amperage draw, that pin that has battery voltage, your scan tool is now looking at the voltage on that pin and syncing that to the cylinders. So now we can get, as you see on this scan tool here, we can get a bar graph or an amperage draw, or not amperage draw, but voltage drop through that pin on the data link co connector, which is kind of unique. Just talking to the head of Snap-on Diagnostics, he'd mentioned that they are already up to about 90% of OBD2 vehicles that this new test is available in in their latest updates. Other scan tool manufacturers, OE manufacturers already have, especially the diesels, that your scan tool can do a relative compression test. This may be one of the first moves you want to do because if the lifter is collapsed, then obviously we're not going to have any compression on that cylinder. Uh, a lot of times you can hear that just cranking, but if you want to identify that cylinder, a good test to confirm that we have no compression in the cylinder is a relative compression test. And here we just soon looking at it, comparing them. This is a relative compression test with an amp probe on a lab scope. Again, you're looking at the heights are all nice and even. That's the piston coming up on compression. A missing tooth there would be the piston coming up really fast. The amperage draw changing and would indicate a compression problem on that cylinder. This is the block. Special blocks are also have to be cast for engines that have active fuel management, displacement on demand. This is the oil feed to the Loma. Up through the block, directly coming off the main oil line pressure, through these little stanchions here is where we have, you can see one, two, three, four, intaking exhaust. That's how we feed the oil directly to the uh, lifters that have the unlocking pins. So the Loma, the lifter oil manifold assembly would sit right on there and bolt to that center valley cover, you used to call it, when we didn't have active fuel management or displacement on demand. And there's another shot of the solenoids. There's one solenoid for each cylinder, and that solenoid will direct oil pressure through those stanchions to the lifter locking pins to deactivate the cylinders.